Hey guys, welcome back to the Zero to Hero series. In today's video, we're going to be talking about levels 70 to 79. This is a big chunk of the game. Leveling up takes a lot longer now, and your real focus is going to be getting that mother freaking wedge unlocked, leveled up as fast as you can. 70 to 79 is basically about squad arena, okay? So your squad arena team, team is going to change, you're going to be focused on rebels primarily, and you're going to try and get a fast stormtrooper hunt. Stormtrooper hunt that's going to taunt first, give your team turn meter, and then that turn meter is going to help you use your bigs, triple polywop, which is bigs' is special ability, the second one, called brother in arms, and he will call in wedge and another ally to assist. You take out an opponent, whoever, and then it's automatically a 5 versus 4 matchup going in your favor. So this is kind of the time where you maybe contemplate between having a wedge lead and a lando lead. Now the lando lead provides speed for your scoundrels and rebels, whereas a wedge lead provides heals and more critical chance and turn meter for each crit for these rebels. So that's going to be something you guys are going to have to decide on your own. I can't really help you personally. If you have any questions about leaving the comments, uh, but, but this is a big important part of the game. Now you're going to be finishing some stuff which is really nice. You're going to be finishing the mod battles, the, the giant table where you're going to have to fight Ray in stage 5. That's going to be really exciting for being able to do all sorts of mod challenges. Now you probably won't be able to do most of those, however you will be able to do a couple which is kind of cool. You start to get a little bit better mods using your scoundrels like I said earlier so you get higher critical chance mods thus allowing you to crit more. Uh, your arena team gets better because of that so that is going to be huge uh, aside from that guys 75 you get to do some events but you're not really going to be able to you're gonna to have to farm more characters and be ready for specific types of events you might be able to do military might because you have rebels build up but that's pretty much it it's not really too friendly in terms of giving you guys the characters that you need you're gonna to have to do a little bit more groundwork to unlock them you will hopefully be able to get shards for Emperor Palpatine when his event comes out. It comes out monthly, which is really nice, and he's a pretty great character. Highly recommend adding him to your team the second you unlock him because he's a very easy gear as well. So that will be huge for you guys. In addition, since you're going to be leveling up, there's going to be better challenges available, and that's going to help you a lot. Now as you guys can see in this battle, they got their Stormtrooper on it before I did, and because of that, they totally wrecked me. Nothing I can do, just just demolish. That's really the key at this point in the game. Find your leader, whether it's Lando or Wedge, and run with it. Get a fast Stormtrooper on if you can get a Shore Trooper or Bays or a Pre Taunt or whoever. They can taunt early and give turn meter or something, or is an exception, then do it because that will help your arena team a lot. If you're top 20 in your arena shard, do two rate refreshes a day for wedges. The faster you 7 star wedge, the faster you will have more success in the game, especially in squad arena. So it's kind of a race here too, but it's also kind of a, this is when the game gets into grind mode and you can farm more characters in the small time you have to level up, if that makes any sense. You're going to have more time to level up to have more characters to farm in that time. So you can farm Tebow at the same time you're farming bigs out of Galactic Warships. I made the mistake of farming Captain Phasma. You guys won't have that mistake because she's bad. Another person to watch out for is Dengar. Do not farm Dengar. He's horrible. Use your TIE Fighter pilot that they gave out earlier and get him to 7 stars when you can. So that way you can use him for the rank or raid team with your Jyn Erso and your Tebow. Those characters are vital for the rank or raid and having success. So you guys, that is also important. Let's move on to raids. Now, Raids, you gotta get Tebow 7 stars. You have to. You gotta gear him up to gear 9 at least. Maybe gear 8 if you're just in the gear crunch. Qui-Gon Jinn is also very good. He's got a good ability where he can manipulate turn meter. Uh, I, I just recommend checking out these two videos. Links are in the description. Fleet Shipments Farming Guide. How to spend your fleet currency. Okay. And then also the Guild Shipments Currency. You guys need to know these this stuff as you level up it has very specific instructions for who to farm and when to farm them guys yeah, this is my advice this is, i hope this helps a lot wedge 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 all the all day baby level up 
get Emperor Palpatine as fast as you can, fight your way through Squadron. If you make a change, if you get better speed mods, do five battles in Arena one day, and then use your 50 crystals, refresh, and do five more battles. That's how you make jumps in Arena, and that's how you really, really increase your chances of success and whatnot. So, guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like. I hope this series helps out. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I hope it's entertaining, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.